Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And today we are going to answer a question that a lot of people have had, which is how can you redirect based upon the product that somebody purchased? So in my case here, we got three widgets, four widgets, and five widgets. So if somebody buys three widgets, we want to send them to a particular page afterwards, a thank you page, confirmation page, upsell page, whatever it is. We want to send the, send them to one for three widgets. We want to send them to a different one for four widgets and a third one for five widgets. Now, I originally got the idea on how to make this work from John Felty. He works for ClickFunnels. He builds funnels for them, and they have actually tested this on some of Russell's stuff and apparently this works. I asked him if it'd be okay if I shared it with the community, and he said it would be. Now, a couple of huge caveats here is when testing anything having to do with the checkout element, you have to pretend like you are your customer. Your customer has never been on this page before, and they're going to use a unique email address and they will have not purchased any other products prior to this. So I'm telling you these things here because you're going to get in here and you're going to do it not incognito. You're going to do it in a regular, you know, just going to click preview on this page and just do it here. Or you're going to reuse an email address and you are going to get a bad result and you're going to rip your hair out. I know this because I have been banging my head up against the wall for the last hour trying to film this video and I keep making the same dumb mistakes over and over and over again. So do what I'm telling you here when you're testing this. Use an incognito window every time you test it. A new window, close the old one down, start with a new window. You have to pretend like you are your consumer who has never, ever, ever been on this page before. So I'm going to open up an incognito window on the side. And I already have all the information filled out here. And one of the things you want to do is use a unique email address. Now, how I ensure that I use a unique email address is I come in here and I say, in this case here, it says Dan Test. And then 710. 710 means it's July the 10th. Then I put in a dash. 1535 means it's 335 in the afternoon. And so I put it into military time. So we got 1535. And then I just put in at gmail.com. Put in all the rest of the information here. Then another thing you want to make sure you do, because again, your consumer is going to come in here and they're going to start clicking on these things. If you just leave it set as three, I found that, well, if you leave it just set at three, you're okay. But you have to make sure that when you set this, you want to come down here and make sure you open up the summary and look at it and say, okay, five widgets. All right, that's exactly what I want. I want five widgets. Everything is just right. Perfect. Everything's great to go on the page. Because again, if you're not doing this incognito and you've done this over and over again, it kind of remembers stuff. So I'm telling you, do it. Otherwise, you're going to drive yourself nuts. So now we're going to click on submit. And God willing, it will take us to the five widgets page. I think I have figured out every way to screw this up. And now we are on five widgets. So we're going to come back to our page here. We're going to come into here. We're going to check to see, did our consumer buy five widgets? We're going to click on this here. And we'll just click on orders. And we'll click on this order right there. I think there's other ways you can get in here, a bunch of different ways. Okay, our consumer did purchase five widgets. Okay, great. Okay, so there's no reason to run back through it again. You saw what I did. You heard all my caveats. Just again, make sure incognito window, new email address every single time you test this. And I showed you how to do it using the time and the date. So here's how you set this up. And it's pretty simple and ingenious. And I'm actually kind of a little surprised that it even works. Um, but first off, I had to do a conditional split test. So I say here, okay, in this first split test, we're going to say, okay, if they bought three, three widgets, we're going to send them right here. Now, if they didn't buy three widgets, that means they bought either four or five widgets. So this conditional split test will say, did they buy four widgets? Boom, they'll end up here if they bought four. If they didn't buy four, there's only one, one other possibility left, and that's that they bought five because they can't get here any other way other than having bought one of my three products. So the next thing here, on your conditional split test, uh, we're going to come in here, we're going to say, uh, and it's just called conditional split test, you can call it whatever you want, take that out, name it whatever you want. And what, they, uh, what John came up with 
is that if you come here and you uh, set this first one here to email address and then just say is set, what happens here is the code reaches out to the ClickFunnels database and makes sure that that email address is set. What that does is it slows it down enough that that email address gets set and we get to see what product they purchased. If you just say owns product is three widgets, if you say that without checking the email address first, this will every single time it'll go to three widgets. If they bought five widgets, it'll every single time it'll go to three widgets. Every single time or you'll find some other error or something else. By putting in the email address is set. Like I said, it slows it down enough. It goes out to the database and makes sure it is set. And then it checks to see how or which one of the products this person owns. And you have a choice here. You can do owns or purchase product. Again, we tested it. And owns product is what works. Purchase product does not work. Not quite sure why that is, but that's how it works. So that's how we set this one up. That one's for three widgets right there. And so then if we come to this other one, this again will be for our four widgets. Again, email address is set. Owns product is four widgets. And if so, then they will head down this path. They will head down the yes path. If they don't own it, like I said, we know there's only one other choice is they own five widgets. So it'll send them down this path right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over here into the incognito window and I'm going to do something I told you not to do which is to reuse this, but I'm going to do it and I'm going to go in here now and I'm going to say four widgets because again, if it comes through, it's going to test for three, then it's going to test for four and if it doesn't find either of those, it's going to go to five. So we're safe here to do this, to go in here and test for four widgets and again here, i got to grab the uh, fake credit card info up here at the top. We'll put that in. Oops, not two, five, let's put in five. And again, let's look at the bottom here in our summary, make sure we got our four widgets set right there. Something is not liking, okay, it's missing an address. Let's just uh, put this in here. Let's just grab any old address right there. Okay, good enough. Boom, submit this. And then we can come over to our client over here. We can come back to our contact. We will click on that contact and we should see now two orders in here. Yep, we do. And the second order here is for four widgets. So that's it. Again, I showed you at the end how to do something that could get you into trouble, but I also think I walked you through it enough to tell you how you can stay out of trouble. So if you test five widgets first and then you test four widgets and then you test three widgets, in my case here, obviously testing the last, uh, last product you have first, then go back up. You should be safe. But again, if it gets messed up, start all over again and make sure you're being careful and thoughtful along the way to make sure you test this properly. Because every time I've tested it properly, it works great. Every time I've screwed up and gotten lazy, I've messed it up. So that's all I got to say about this. If you have any questions, just let me know.